I don't know if I've ever been so terrified for an album. I've been shaking, I've been nervous all day. This isn't my album. Why am I so nervous? This is like so significant right now. The amount of stakes on this album. Like, if this shit is bad, what, I don't know, what are people gonna do? What are we gonna do if this shit is bad? It's been five years. Am I the only one that's feeling this? Cause this is kind of, this is crazy. I've never seen something like this. One of the greatest, maybe the greatest hip hop artist of all time, right? Not, not even a dick rider, not even a dick rider. I think a lot of people would agree that person, we thought they were, we thought he was done. I was a sophomore in high school when the last Kendrick album came out. I, I look, this is what I looked like. In that time span, we've seen careers begin and end, movements, new presidents, wars, uh, fucking Mr. Peanut died. That, that was pretty big. Uh, BBLs. It feels like everything's been leading up to this, quite frankly. And it's not just the fact that, oh, it's going to be a big album. It's the consistency in Kendrick's discography, very meticulously crafted albums that have like a full story and whatnot. Like, like he has a reputation for that that I think goes beyond any other artist in his kind of position, you know? It's just such a unique moment right now. And I, that's why I'm, I'm even here, you know? I've been on a hiatus. I've been making this album. I'm not supposed to upload shit. I told myself like, don't upload anything on YouTube. I don't even want people to see me or have any of their perception or experience changed of the album by me doing stupid shit like making videos like this, you know? I figured I could break myself out of my dark cave for, you know, just a few hours as a treat, listen to a historic album, and then go back to, uh, to that. I was never here. This video doesn't exist. It's a glitch in the matrix. You didn't see me. For me, Kendrick is tied for my top spot of greatest hip hop artists ever. Kanye and Kendrick. Those are my, my two goats. This album could be anything, and we, we don't know anything about it. We know nothing about it. Uh, I'm so excited to go through it, break everything down, break down the production. Let me tell you, you could watch all these other reactions. I'm sure there's going to be a hundred thousand reactions. This, this is going to be the most insightful. It's going to be the most fun. I'm going to drive around some very beautiful Los Angeles locations, maybe go up into the hills. It'll be aesthetically pleasing and we'll listen to some great music and just appreciate the music and try to, uh, I'll try to give as much insight into it as possible as somebody who makes a shit ton of music every day. It's kind of crazy that this is going to be like a whole generation of kids first Kendrick album that they're listening to when it comes out. And that's just crazy to think about. Like there's so much pressure on this and that's why I'm so nervous on Kendrick's be behalf. It's fucking 902. I just was on a ramble for 2 minutes. If this isn't out, Kendrick, come on, bro. If this isn't out, everybody on my Twitter is going to be going crazy. Oh! Oh, it's actually there. It's actually there, bro. Oh my God, I'm genuinely so excited, bro. I'm like a fucking kid at a McDonald's play place. I, 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 was I the only kid that really loved those? I know I'm gonna miss things. I'm gonna try to be as focused as I possibly can. Um, but if I miss things, like I miss, he, he puts the cure to cancer vaccination formula in one of these lyrics and I miss it. I'm very sorry, okay? But I'm gonna, I will listen so closely. United in grief. Let's go, first track. Tell him, tell him, tell him you're. I've been going through something. 1,855 okay. days. What is a woman that really hurt? A demon, you better oh, kill her. What is a relative make a repetitive narrative? So how you did it first? That is a predator here reverse. Oh, yeah. Oh my Oh my god, this groove is fucking crazy. The number said he was black, G wagging away from it was all for rap. I was 28 years young, 20 million in tax. And pray none of my enemies hold me captive. I agree different. Oh my god. You wanna steal this nigga by Chad left his body after we FaceTime Green nice that you be okay First two is extra pain away I agree different Oh my god 
God, yes, yes. Yes, yes. I'm so glad that he went and did some weird shit. Oh. Oh my God, I'm so relieved. I love, I love that, I love that. There's so much shit in there that is abrasive and off-putting. All the quick instrumental changes, the, the parts where it's just the, the weird drum grooves, incredible jazz chords, production, great lyrics, and, and very well-structured song. Like, I'm gonna need to listen to this shit again. This feels wrong, I shouldn't be making this video. I shouldn't be talking while listening to this. It's beautiful, it's got a groove to it. This is everything I ever wanted. Thank you, Kendrick Lamar. I'm so curious about the next track, so let's do I don't it. Know N95, that is the uh, the mask, the N95 mask. I don't know world, all the boys and girls. I got some true stories to tell. We can't streams in a microwave memes. It's a real world outside. Take off your idols. Take off the runway. Take off the Cairo. Yeah. Take off the gossip. Take off the new logic. They fun with John Wheel. Take off the shirt now. Take off the dope. Take off the broken bag. Take off and what do you have? Bitch. You have Oh, you think they talk about us? Save us. Dancing in the same. I can scribble my phone, whatever I make. Murder his stack in the prison, then acting the government taxing my funds in the bank. My pupils on stage. Oh, oh, oh. Think about this for second. Oh. Tell me what you do for second. Oh. Show your show, no credit. Oh. Show your bro for leverage. Oh. What the fuck is counsel called the dog? Say what I wanna bite you niggas. I'm like overdog. I keep you crackers. Oh, this shit is hard though. Okay. All right, that was N95. Definitely had a big Baby Keem energy immediately when I heard that beat right off the bat. Especially with those little like uh, old school synthy chords with like the crazy hi-hats and shit. Baby Keem loves that. That kind of felt like an updated humble. You know what I'm saying? He's like, take off the jewelry, take off that. It's basically like a like a new sit down, be humble, you know? Didn't like it as much as the first track, but you know, a lot of lyrics that seem to be aimed at like social media, like I feel like I heard a cancel culture lyric, shit just about the internet, listening to critics, da 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 da, dealing with gossip. Um, worldwide steppers, here we go. Oh, track three. Kodak Black. Kodak not Black. Okay, love. I'm a killer, he's oh. a killer, she's a killer bitch. We some killers walking zombies trying to scratch that itch. German oh. be kettle. God, playing baby shark with my daughter, watching for sharks outside at the same time. Life is oh. a protective father, I kill for. I was black for two years, nothing moved me. Ask God to speak through me. That's what you hear now, the voice of yours truly. Teleport oh, out my shit. own body. I don't know how to feel. Like the first time I fucked a white bitch. The first time I <laughs> fucked a white bitch, I was 16 at the Palisades, oh fumbling in my oh grave. My Ancestors watching me fuck was like retaliation. I'm a killer, he's a oh killer, she's God. a killer, bitch. We some killers walking zombies trying to scratch that itch. Hide your eyes and pose for the pick. Oh. What the? Eight billion people on earth, silent murderers, non-profits, preachers in church, crooks and burglars, Hollywood, oh. the media is the new religion, you killed the consciousness, oh. your jealousy, no, no, this was crazy. you killed the curse and it goes to work and pray like they post to slaughter people too, your murder's just a bit slower, I'm a killer, oh. he's, holy, holy shit, that, that was crazy, that one was crazy, it's such a simple sounding song, good alliteration. That that was crazy. That that one that one had me hooked with every line. The production, like so fucking sinister. It was like anxiety inducing. It was like the Jaws theme. You know what I'm saying? Like and it's flowing. It's just like this happened and this happened and da 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 da. It feels like anxiety and panic just stacking on top of each other. And that's the song. On these recent two songs, Kendrick has been like addressing cancel culture like everybody is is guilty in something by upholding anything or any institution or anything that you do there's always going to be those consequences i think this kind of ties into some of the marketing he's done where he's like it's like oklahoma i am all of us or something and in this song he's talking from the perspective of like i'm a killer you're a killer eight billion people everyone's a killer in their in their own ways, you know? Love the production, and then love the, the switch up to the more melodic beat, like that one knocked in an equally fulfilling way, like that shit was fucking crazy. A lot of lyrics to break down, I'm gonna have to go and read Genius or something. I feel like I'm catching a lot of it, so let's keep going, Die Hard. Groove. I hope I 
That one's definitely the most poppy, palatable one. Like, I could see that one getting, you know, a fucking billion streams or something. I thought the melodies were super catchy. The beat had, like, a real nice sort of dancey groove to it. I feel like uh, you don't normally hear that kind of groove in a Kendrick song, which was exciting. It did have, like, sort of a nice atmospheric quality to it as well. Yeah, I like the one. I feel like I need to talk for, like, 10 minutes about each song, but I will stop myself from doing that and just keep listening. Such an interesting album so far though. Like this is not what I expected. Some really good storytelling, like breaking up the songs like verse by verse to be about a different situation or different perspective. So far I'm really liking this. I'm trying as hard as I can to not be like one of those fucking Kendrick overanalyzer people who are like, in this verse, Kendrick Lamar uses 47 syllables. Now 47 is the number of the eternal spirit and da, 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 you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to be one of those people. I'm liking it so far, I need to shut up and stop talking so much. Let's keep going, father time. I, I love how the footsteps were like the beat and then they just sort of turned into like scrambling footsteps That was really really cool production. I fuck with that They don't know my life Daddy issues oh. Maybe learn losses I don't take those well Oh this the part where mental stability meets talent Oh this the party breaks my oh. humility Just for practice Cups practicing on theos Tough love oh. oh. Bottled up No chase on me No chase on me Chase on about it, he surely tell me not to be weak. Daddy issues, hit my emotions, never I love my father for telling me to take off the gloves. Cause everything he didn't want was everything I was. Until my father's they figured it out with the daddy issues. Wow. Wow, wow. God. I re I really like that one. The lyrics are, are just so powerful. You know, talking about what it means to be a father, toxic masculinity, growing up. I thought Sanfa's vocals were really nice on it. Really like that one. Okay, rich interlude. Little cold. A bunch of lost souls in survival mode. Running in stones, kicking in doors, nigga, give me my glory. Nigga, play with me, he ain't gonna live to tell the story. Remember, this the type of shit we glorify. Everybody gang gang. Most of the people that you grew up with, man, in the chain gang. Who ever knew that I'd become a fucking Kodak? Rap with the good, but I'm still from the gas to the hood, dropping all places to the club on Thanksgiving. Got Oh my, oh my God. First of all, the sort of sonic like production style choice that I've been noticing as an overlap is the super minimal, super dry, like orchestral stuff, like a very dry classical uh, texture to them, you know? Such a cool creative choice, you know what I'm saying? And it was, it was beautiful. I feel like that song scratches an itch that I don't, I don't think has ever been scratched before. I thought the way that the piano slowly sped up and then da -da 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 -da, and then slowed back down at the end was really cool too. Delivery was actually like cool. It hit. I don't know. That one hit for me. All right, Rich Spirit. And honestly, I think Kodak did a really good job on it. Like the delivery was cool and it like it worked. It fit over something that would definitely seem out of his comfort zone, you know? Pain testament, pain pictures, put me in the loop, that's a definite discord. Give me that, brother. Spirit medium, all right, brother. We headed there now, are you strapped, brother? Clean is great, I'd be lying if I said I wouldn't get it. Shit, awake, be a loop, Buddha. I'm Christ with a shooter. Praise to Muhammad, I might make a loser. This one's probably my least favorite so far, but there were a lot of interesting lyrics in it. You know, it's, it had kind of like a DJ mustard, like low key club kind of vibe to it, but obviously still having some like real interesting lyrics and 
Yeah, like I thought it was cool, but just not up to the same standard as the other stuff, you know? All right, we cry together. Let's keep it going. This is a whole fucking movie scene right here. I'm seeing this shit visually. I'm hearing the slapping on the table or like, you know what I'm saying? The foley in it. It's This is literally a, a, a scene. If, if this isn't, if there isn't some music video for this, uh, that is a waste because this is incredible. The piano, the sound effects, the way the vocals are going one side to the other. You hear shit around the room. The lyrics are incredible. I'm like, I'm like in this shit. That's all you got. Lay this pussy back oh on the couch. Doggy style, then you get on top. Fuck me, nigga. I'ma fuck you, bitch. Yeah, man. Fuck me. <laughs> nah, you playing. Stop tap dancing around the conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tap dancing. I, in, in the songs, there's been those little fucking, uh, Sh shoes on the on the ground like I've heard it. Wow. 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 Oh my Nah, that one was fucking sick. I'm not familiar with the with the other artists on the song Is that somebody I should know? I can't find them on Spotify. She was incredible on that the raspy voice the like that that was that was insane and it wasn't just one of those sort of bullshit back and forth songs where it's like you fucked someone else, da 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 da. Oh, you're a bitch, yada yada yada. Like that was, that felt like a like a real dynamic. Whether or not that's a toxic dynamic, or that's the point of the song to show a toxic dynamic like that, or just to show a sort of more nuanced relationship dynamic and sort of tell a story through that lens. So interesting, incredible by both performers. That one was so cool. God, I just want to talk about all these songs. Like I don't feel like. Like, I'm doing it justice, you know? Purple hearts. Sevens, I ain't good for no coffee. Oh. If God be the source, then I am the blood talking. Yeah, baby. Fucking with skirts, cause I'm rational. Ooh, I hate it here. Yeah. If you keep lurking on the low, if you a bitch. Love mine. Love mine. Love mine. Tell me in the store. I cannot go far. I just want love you still. Just think I love people. Yo, yo, telekinesis, I'm pure. That's God's face. These speeches, God's sight for divine in a small portion. Uh, oh. Faded pictures just glow on that. It's the intervention. Ooh, this world's in the twilight zone. God's sake, listen oh. what the stars wow. say. When I say it's God's way. It be torn and I'm all walking. Wow, wow. That that one was nice. That one was nice. That one was a vibe. Summer Walker did a great job. Ghostface Killer, legendary instrumental under him, like with the big strings and background vocals and the, the beautiful chord progression. Like that shit, that shit was was super super pretty a lot of like beautiful shimmering classical orchestration it, and so it kind of reminds me of uh, the, the little sims album from 2021 she had a lot of those sort of like a regal big uh orchestration on her stuff in the same kind of theatrical like skippy piano and stuff like that you know that sounds like some victorian era british movie or something another vibe i think that song will get a lot of streams wasn't my favorite. I feel like I'm gravitating a little more towards the just so weird shit, but I, I liked it. I added it to my, to my playlist. So far, the shit is really great. Like even the sort of 
hits that you could that you could tell feel watered down to an extent like still have really good structure songwriting clever lyrics meaning like there's not a lot of corners being cut and that's like really fucking cool let's go count me out so until then I fight, rain on me, put the blame on me, got guilt, got hurt, got shame on me. Man, sleep I ain't never had a fast with that. What's fair when the hearts and the words don't reach? What's fair when the money don't take things back? It's rare when somebody take your dreams back. My complex soul, they layer me up, then broke me down. The morality's dust, I lack and trust the pride. Even my strong points couldn't survive. If I didn't learn to love myself, forgive myself a hundred times down. Very con there and then. Fuck it up, fuck it up, fucking it up. How you gonna wear my shorts when the lights run deep? How you gonna be in your love when the bed don't sleep? Anybody out when I'm frustrated? All right, more of this, more of this tap dancing. The big steppers. He's taking, he's taking steps. I've noticed a lot of lyrics about therapy, self acceptance. That song was beautiful, and it went hard. And it's like gonna be a hit. Like I could see that song billions. You know what I'm saying? Like I could, I could see that song doing super well. But it's not sacrificing artistic integrity. Like that is a beautiful song that that is catchy and it goes hard and it's 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 fire. I'm I'm really liking this album so far. And it is very hard to remember what to say. It would be much easier if I was doing this in a room writing shit down on a notebook, you know? But instead I'm like a terrible driver. Perhaps the big steppers are like his kids because a lot of this has been about like growth and the future generations and shit like that. I wonder if the steps, if the actual steps are like specific or go all around or whatever because I feel like I know that there's stuff to interpret there and I'm not doing a good enough job and for that I apologize. Okay, crown. More piano. Da da da. Go out the way to say you made the compromise. Wow, this is what I call eerie. Unsettling instrumental. A lot of da da da. Wow, beautiful. That was like a ballad and it, and it was it was catchy, like, but in, in a kind of sad, unsettling way. That song has such a unique feeling that it gives off. And the can't please everybody, can't please everybody. Like, that, that was a great little hook and there was a sort of overlapping of the hook, like very, very simple instrumentation, but like beautiful beautifully written, love it. it. It feels super depressing. Kendrick's delivery on this album, like so far has been so cold and dark and almost like numb. Obviously it's going all over the place emotionally, but I've noticed that as a pattern. Fuck, this shit is turning out really good. God damn. I'm so curious of what people are gonna think of this album. Like the whole world is listening to this. Um, and there's so many bold choices. I, I feel like a lot of people won't appreciate how cool it is. Um, but yeah, let's keep it going. Silent Hill. Why, oh, why, oh, why you keep fucking with me? You gon' make me. A lot of sort of a cappella song starts. Oh. What the hell? Push these niggas off me, like. Push these bitches off me, like. Push these niggas off me, like. 
catching the snakes on That's the TikTok hit right there. <laughs> Tell you a joke, my answers are close. I hell at the moon and shit. Know the results, the belly is in, and I'm about to boom again. The pals are so crazy. Nah, this one's crazy. Uh, like, I'm stressed out. Shit. They don't fuck with me even if they could Pull out the stick, hit a bitch There's so the much Kodak on this, what the fuck? I'm worried about that shit out in the Google I was not team. expecting so much Kodak black on this <laughs> Red cross kept a nigga fed in the studio with Kayla and fresh out the fed. The block ain't had no part, just saw them shot on my other. Stacking them on the top. This actually goes crazy. This goes crazy. Wow, well, I find I find the way that this album is crafted now that we're pretty far into it is very interesting. Like there is something in there for everybody. Like this is a very this album is gonna sell incredibly well. The songs are gonna chart. That song is like a fun hit that like could do really well on TikTok and like he's got his emotional hit songs and it's interesting how he's sort of going back and forth from these super unsettling experimental cuts and then also having these songs that are probably total smashes or, or fun like I think he's I think he's like playing this where he's potentially gonna pull this off where everybody is satisfied with this album everybody might be satisfied like Kendrick maybe did it he's maybe done it I wonder what the reason is for there being so much Kodak on this. Uh, he's been good on the album so far. I wonder why Kendrick is putting him on there. Like, I know Kodak is a controversial figure and Kendrick has had a lot of lyrics on this about media and cancel culture and like spiritual growth and therapy and changing and shit like that. I wonder if that's a big reason for him being on this album a lot. Save your interlude. Let's keep it going. What Identity from being a victim. Oh shit, we're almost getting done. Bad shit. things yourself that is based on the bad things that happen to you. Saying the 15th, the only religion. Blues in a microwave, shark tank, tied away. Grandma shooting niggas blood on the highway. I don't anybody but my mama. She's showing the pattern for certain. I think it's white panties and men in McConnell's. Wow, listen to my this. My uncle would tell me the shit in the movies could only be magic. This year I had money at the wave for my heart in the faith. I'm good, love. Cousin in the courts heard he jumped up the porch from a brick to a porch. I'm good, love. I gotta get up. I gotta get up. My ex got a beamer. She want me to see it. I still ain't gonna see it. Like, okay. I go in and ratchet. I done do a paddock. I still do the watches. The oh, wait. She think I'm gonna see it. And Luau, Mr. Morale. Wow. I feel like this thing I was saying earlier about the sort of that style of classical music like representing like elite classes and shit is definitely important the more I thought about Kendrick's discography like to pimp a butterfly for example with a lot of stuff about like imposter syndrome or survivor's guilt for like making it out of his situation and getting into all these different spaces you know what I'm saying and now he's been there for so long into it's like become part of the the backdrop, the soundscape, but the lyrics are still the same and still real as ever, you know? I feel like that's not a bad idea. All right, let's go, next one. Save your main song. Made you think about it, but he is not your savior. Cole made you feel empowered. Future said get a money counter, but he is not your savior. <laughs> Mr. Morrell, get- A lot of these lyrics are pretty fucking funny and like cleverly written and powerful, like, God, this shit is really ch checking every box. I don't know if any of this is gonna cause controversy. I'd be interested to see like the discourse that comes out of this album. Universal call out. I can remember only that A. C C. Wait a minute. Ben Aki. Ben Aki. Say la vie. Say la vie. Tell the whole truth from A to Z. Show me you real. Show me that you bleed. I see niggas like you in the bubble. Who's blacker? Even blacked out screens and call it solidarity. Meditating in silence makes you want to tell me. Oh, the sort of the sort of dissonant pulsing like reversion in the back. No, no, this is hidden. This is hidden. They dogs and rap lyrics get protecting my soul in the valley of silence. Come on, that the groove on that, the way that was knocking. Dun, dun, and the percussion, like also some interesting percussion in there. Like even the songs that are the bangers or whatever, like still have really interesting production choices in them that like make them feel new and fresh. And still some more lyrics about like the world around us, fucking vaccines and wealth and equality, capitalism, all that kind of shit. Great storytelling, the way that the verses progress, it feels natural, it feels conversational, it goes hard. Like he's, I feel like he's tapping into a different level. 
I mean, shit, it's been five years. Like, it's an interesting way that his lyricism has matured. God, I'm losing my voice. I've been talking for so long. Auntie Diaries. Uh, here we go. Four tracks left. Can't figure out. This is how we conceptualize human beings. My auntie is a man now. I think I'm old enough to understand now. Drinking Parmesan with her hat turned backwards. Most job the earliest. Big social, big personality, vocal. Played the underground verbatim and stayed local. My auntie is a man now. I watch a man is hoping that she pull up tomorrow so I can hang out in the front seat. Six by nines keeping the music up under me. My auntie is a man now. Did I, did I know that I heard that? With her hat turned backwards. Back when it was comedic relief to say faggot. Faggot, faggot, faggot. We ain't know no better. Elementary kids with no filter. However, turning the and following my auntie with the same behavior. Demetrius is Marianne now. He's more confident to live his plan now. But that I'm justified in feelings that my cousin preserved. The building was thinking out loud. Bad angel, that's when you looked at me and smiled. Said I'm got closer, it was all forgiven. I said them F bombs, I ain't know any better. Mistake every second, you challenged the shit I was kicking. Reminded me about a show I did out the city. That time I brought a fan on stage to rap. But disapproved a word that she couldn't say with me. You said Kendrick ain't no room for contradiction. To truly understand love, switch position. Thank you. But only if you let a white girl say nigga. Oh shit. I'm, I'm feeling like this album is a combo of Kendrick's three major albums. Good Kid, Mad City, like that song for example. And some of the earlier ones like really vivid storytelling. Like a lot of To Pimp a Butterfly influence the sort of jazzy stuff. The song where they were like arguing between him and uh, Taylor Page. Like that reminded me of For Free interlude. There's been a lot of like commercial bangers that I feel like would, would have fit really well on Damn. It feels like a unique combo of, of all of those, you know? Uh, maybe that's just me, but let me know if you hear that as well. Okay, so the song starts with basically this little thing and the guy goes, this is how we conceptualize human beings. And then Kendrick is talking about in his family, like growing to accept that his aunt is trans and then later that his cousin is also trans and like reflecting on his usage of slurs and the sort of guilty like emotional shit that comes with that. Such interesting and like powerful storytelling describing like this ignorant kid or whatever that sort of grows through you know his understanding of you know being a human being and and being part of a family that like he grows with like a new level of empathy and comes to accept them and like that's a topic that's so rarely explored in that way in that with that kind of perspective oh and then at the end he talked about the girl who came on stage with him and like did mad city and like you know we all we all remember what happened and bringing that as another example for you know one of those words that like carries a lot of deep dark history and emotional weight and that people have reclaimed in all sorts of ways and comparing that about what he was saying earlier like applying to a different uh, group of people, you know? That's at least how I'm interpreting it. I may be completely wrong. It could all be a metaphor for fucking uh, global warming or some shit. Again, sorry, there's so much to unpack and I'm trying my best and I know that I'm gonna miss shit and when I listen to this album again, I'm gonna be like, oh, you should have caught that lyric that was referencing this and da da da. Three songs left, Mr. Morale. It was one of the worst performances I've seen in my life. Is that about, is that referencing what he was just talking about in the last song with the, the controversial white girl performance? <laughs> Wow, this beat. Woo. This is definitely the the people who produced on Baby Keem album. I think Beach Noise. This sounds like with the weird 808 patterns and, and little vocal chops and bloopy analog synths. Like, it sounds very, you know, melodic blue E. Oh. Wow, listen to this shit. Come on. Like all of the mothers back where we from. 
watching my cousin struggle with addiction Then watching her first born make a million And both of them off the grid for forgiveness I'm sacrificing myself to start the healing And shit on my mind and this head Frustrated, I can feel Hold on up, tie the flag Call the troops, holler back More unhappiness Interesting. All right. Some really strong lyrics about, you know, uh, generational trauma, family healing, like what are what are we passing on to the next generation, etc. Which is something that I feel like Kendrick has emphasized a lot on this album. Kids growing. He talked about him as a kid and looking at the album cover, you know, it's his family and his kids. And Kendrick's throughout this album has been sort of painting a picture of the world that they're going to grow up in. So many really cool ideas. Okay. Mother I Sober. I'm sensitive, I feel everything, I feel everybody One man, standing on two, it was all a blur Mother cried, put their hands on her It was family ties, I heard it all I should have grabbed a gun, but I was only five I still feel it Anybody but myself Family ties, they accused my cousin Did he touch you, Kendrick? Never lied, but no one believed me When I said he did it, frozen moments Still holding on it Hard to trust myself I hear Tell me that she sees me Did he touch you? I said no again Still they didn't believe me Mother's brother Said he got uh. revenge For my mother's face Black and blue The image of my queen That I can't erase Till this day wow. Can't look at him through. Wish I was somebody Beautiful So much vulnerability Great Amazing, amazing storytelling again. In the kitchen, asking God, where did I lose myself? And can it be forgiven? Broke me down. She looked me in my eyes. Is there an addiction? I said no, but this time I lied. I knew that I can't fix it. Pure soul. She was violated in Chicago. I'm sympathetic. Told me that she feared it happened to me for my protection. Though it never happened, she wouldn't agree. She don't inherit me and feel inside track of conversation. Not being addressed in black families. The devil Devastation, huh? Burying they pain and chains and tattoos So listen close before you start to pass judgment On how we move, learn how we cope Whenever his uncle had to walk him from school His anger grows deep in misogyny This is post-traumatic So I set free the hearts filled with hatred Keep our bodies sacred As I set free all your abusers This is transformation That one, like, that was that was like making me tear up at the end. There was so much vulnerability in that. So many amazingly written sections that just like tied into each other, took you on a on a journey. Like the the writing on this album has been so precise, and everything just feels like it's in place. And that you know what I'm saying. Like, there's very few awkward sounding lyrics. Like they all sound like they've always been there. You know. Um, and they're just like flowing out. I feel like that's kind of interesting when earlier in the album, Kendrick was talking about like being, about having writer's block and, and, and sort of letting the universe, letting God like take the wheel. I feel like this song tied a lot of the album's themes together um, in the section where he's talking about like, this is how we cope. Like, he, like that kind of shit related back to the first song of like everybody grieves different. Again, more stuff going deeper into like generational trauma and his own trauma and therapy and finding ways to do that work to break generational uh, curses. Showing like experiences and relationships, talking about himself growing up. It's really this kind of grand internal like exorcism, you know, in a way that I feel like Dam was a little more vague about and sort of not skipping over any of the uncomfortable uh, conversations and is just putting it all out there and doing so in really beautiful beautiful well structured and powerful ways you know final song wow we've really been here for a long time um mirror let's fucking do it i choose me
when Kodak, Kodak at the beginning said, I choose me, and right now Kendrick's like, I won't trade places, and the, and the song is titled Mirror. On the last song, she, she said something like, I don't want to be me or something. That's been all over the album. Definitely like some real self-acceptance therapy shit going on. Okay, God, I just need to listen to the fucking music and stop being a fucking annoying English essay asshole. All right, let's keep going. Just to point a finger, cause critical thinking is a deal breaker. Faith in one man is a ship sinking. Do you Sorry, I didn't save the world, my friend. I was too busy building my head. Sorry, I couldn't save the world. I had to build mine, or whatever you just said there. Really good line. And, and you know, everybody sort of anoints Kendrick as like the savior. You know what I'm saying? And there was a song on this fucking album called, called Savior, right? Is that the end? That's the end of the album. We've done it. I'm on the, on the freeway right now. I'm not at the most beautiful place. Very triumphant sounding. I choose me, I'm sorry. Da -da -da -da. Almost sounded like when you were winning Wii Sports or some shit, you know? So the very beginning of the album starts with, I hope you find some peace of mind. And then a voice saying, tell them, tell them the truth. And then Kendrick, and then Kendrick's first words in the album are, I've been going through something. I've been going through something, right? I've been going through something. This whole album is like a grieving and growing process, you know? Where at the end he looks in the mirror and like accepts himself, you know? And sort of works through so much trauma, so, so much shit in the past that he's never let out. And sort of through this album he's doing that. And doing that also he can be a good father, set a good example for his children and his and bring his family together and, and in order to do all of that healing he has to do the internal healing, you know? So much to talk about. So many video essays are about to be made. And again, a lot of interesting production on this, a lot of dissonant, weird, very like minimal but beautiful and expressive or orchestration and instrumentals and some really incredible storytelling, you know? Yeah, a lot to take in. A lot of really interesting, unique perspectives, conversations that are like taboo or that aren't really had a lot that are gonna be, you know, brought into a really mainstream, important light from this album. Really cool. God, so many incredible songs on this. Mother I Sober one really like, really had me like choked up. So many powerful moments, innovative production, Fun songs, songs that like are ridiculously catchy, but catchy in a unique way. Hits, smashes, weird experimental songs, songs that are like fucking movie scenes, beautifully sad and heartbreaking songs, vulnerability, pain, family, trauma, growth, so much shit. And a really ambitious album. Where would I put it in Kendrick's discography if I can say? I would probably, Put it above Damn. I think it's better than Damn. It's so hard to compare to Good Kid and to Pimp a Butterfly just because those are like albums that I've grown up with, you know what I'm saying? Like they feel like they've always been there. I'm really curious about what the public opinion of this album is gonna be. Now, now it's time for the prediction you've all been waiting for. This is the only reason you clicked on the video. Um, the only thing that matters in music is one man's opinion and that man is uh, Mr. Melon, Mr. Anthony Fantano. What is he gonna rate this album? Based on this listen, I'm gonna say strong eight to light nine. But I think it's gonna be in the eight range. I think it's a I think it's a strong eight. It could be a decent to strong eight. I think it's gonna be strong eight to a light nine. But I feel like there are some misses or like songs that he's not gonna like. Let me know what you thought about this album in the comments. I got an album on the way. You know what? Here's a you've you've waited long enough. Here's a little snippet. But yeah, I'm really excited about my album. I'm so excited for y'all to hear it. I'm really working as hard as I can on it to make sure that it's something special. Thank you for watching. God, I gotta go edit the shit. And uh, peace.